What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay from Jay's Life Out Loud. You know it. Um, today, I um, went out to lunch with my homeboy. And we went and got something to eat. And uh, had a couple of beers. So when we sitting there talking... And we're talking about life and what life brings and um, the different situations we've gotten ourselves in in life uh, in general. And when I'm talking, you know, I'm listening to what he's saying. We carried conversation. Conversation went from A to B. Should I say A to Z? And on the way home, thinking to myself, like, I believe, I, I totally believe that you can put away your skills or your uh, confidence without even knowing it. And with putting away your confidence, you say, well, what do you mean you can put away your confidence? If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Um, and what I mean by putting away your confidence or if you don't use it, you lose it. I see that if you don't test yourself or push yourself past a certain limit, or you've reached certain goals and say like, so like you had a goal of making 200,000 and say that was, you made the 200,000, but that was like six years ago. So since then, it's been six years. Now you're looking at yourself like, could I do it again? I don't know. I don't, you know. Uh, say you went out and said you wanted to open a business. And you went and did that. You you took care of it. You filed your LLC. Filed for LLC. You got your company name. Filed for your LLC. Uh, you know, you got the tax exempt number now. Uh, you start the business and the business is running. And you're making money. And as you're making your money, um, let's say some hard times hit and the business goes under. But you had a good three, four year run. And, you know, you did what you, you did did your thing, you know, you did your due diligence, you did everything that you needed to do to keep the business, uh, it was lost due to something that you had no control over, years passed by, and the thought crosses your mind to open another business, maybe doing something different, and once again, doubt creeps in. Which is weird because you did it before. You know you're capable of doing the same thing you did before. But that doubt creeps in and the confidence runs away. Okay, we get older. We get more cautious. Um, cautious, scary. Uh, you thinking about everything in the world that could happen that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And as for me, I had, I, I had to look at myself and say, look, <laughs> it's the same God. It was yesterday. It is today. He always been looking out for you. Always had your back. What would make you think? Because it's six years now, seven years now or whatever, that he won't do the same. 
what makes you think that you ain't the same man or the same woman that was six, seven years ago that jumped out that window to start that business? Um, did what you had to do to stack up 200000 or to get it to buy another house. You bought one before. You bought one years ago. And you may have sold it. It may have uh, went up under when the house market crashed. And now you're thinking to yourself, I don't know. I would have to. Got to pay all off these these credit cards. And I don't know who I'm going to find for a real estate agent. And I know it's a, it's a seller's market now. And... He the same God he was yesterday. Ain't nothing changed. He looked out for you then, had your back, was there for you, for you when you prayed on certain things that you wanted. It's time to get that confidence back. Believe in yourself. When somebody tells you that they see something in you, I ain't talking about the bad stuff, but when they can tell you like, you should such and such and such, such, or they see something and you know that it sits right with your soul and your spirit. Excuse me. Sciences. You need to open your eyes because a lot of times people will see more in you than you see in yourself. Because that's where that doubt came in. That's where that confidence ran away. Get your confidence, you know, back. You know, get your swagger back. You know, and I was I was riding in the car on the way home from uh, having lunch with my boy. And it was like, get your swagger back. What's wrong with you? It's like you you done, you know, say, it ain't like I gave it, gave it, you give it in the tile or throw the tile in. But it's just like, you can't be in that comfort zone and stay there when life is not over. Get your swagger back. Put your feet back up under you. Stand on them ten toes. Ten toes down. Get your swagger back. Get your swagger back. You can do it. You can put anything. You can do anything you put your mind to. Damn near anything. Because if, if you're slow as hell, I ain't going to tell you you can win 100 meters. You ain't you going to make it to the Olympics and run 100 meters. But what I'm saying to you is, put your mind to it. Get your swagger back. Get your feet up under, back up under you. Come out swinging. Holler at your boy.